Hi guys, this is Charles from Photospring. In this video, I'm going to go over the basic slideshow mode of Photospring. Uh, slideshow is the default mode for Photospring, so um, when you connect it to power, it'll automatically go into the slideshow mode. Or if you leave the Photospring alone for um, a certain period of time, it'll revert back to the slideshow um, because it's designed to show your photos and that's the mode that it's going to go back to. Uh, you'll see in this slideshow that my uh, my photos are uh, going at about every five seconds they're changing to a new photo. Um, I can change that in um, under the settings. I can go into here and I can do the slideshow and I can change the time intervals or I can change the timeout to slideshow. And what that means is that if I leave the device alone for five minutes, it's automatically going to go back to uh, play the slideshow. Um, automatic photo formatting means that um, Photospring will adjust the, the cropping of the photo so that you can uh, see more details or if you turn that off it's just going to show the original photo um, as you took it. Um, auto play videos means that if I have this on when a video comes up it'll automatically start playing the video in the slideshow. If I turn this off it's just going to show the video on the first frame and you'll be able to tap on the play button to play the video. So I'm going to go back to my slideshow and you'll see how it's progressing here. I can go forward and back. Um, so if I want to get more detail on this picture, I can go back. Or if I want to go back even more, I slide back or I can slide forward. And you'll see here, uh, when it comes up to the video, um, it'll automatically play the video because I had that set. Now, as the video is playing, I can tap on it and I can use my controls to fast forward, pause, or uh, go back in the video. Um, you also see here, um, there's a volume indicator. Or I can use this to adjust the volume of the video or I can just turn the volume off so that the video doesn't play. Um, I want to go back here and that'll take me back to the first screen. This is what you'll see if you have the autoplay video set to off. You'll just see that screen with the uh, play pause button there. Now um, in the slideshow mode I can also tap once on the photo and this will show me my menu and I have um, all these different options around the menu. Um, this will show me uh, all of uh, my choices to do settings, frame code, connections, Wi-Fi, get help, or turn off the power. I can uh, turn the slideshow on and off using this switch here. I can delete this slideshow. I'm sorry, I can delete this photo if I choose. I'm not going to do that because I like that photo. Um, it'll show me my status indicators down here, the current time, battery life, Wi-Fi signal, um, details about the photo. I can favorite this if I like because that's a really nice photo. Or I can hide this if, um, if I don't want it to be included in the slideshow. Um, if I want to go to playlist, I can tap here, but I'm going to cover playlists in a different video. Um, and if I want to go back to see the full screen, I just tap on this and it'll take me back to the slideshow. Now you remember up here, um, I tapped on slideshow on and off. There's a shortcut for that. I can just double tap this um, and that'll turn the slideshow on. So the slideshow will play. Now, if there's a particular photo I like, which is this one, I really like this one, I can double tap here and I can turn the slideshow off. And what that'll do is that'll keep this photo on the screen for the duration of until I turn the slideshow back on. Um, so in a nutshell, those are the slideshow features for Photospring. Um, if you want to get more information, you can always go to our website at www.photospring.com. Um, or feel free to contact us if you have any other questions.